This video has an example of how to use our four tools for efficiency. This scenario involves finding all of the English department courses so that we can check for classes with low numbers or workload issues. To start, I'm in the schedule top tab and master side tab where I have all the sections listed for the year. I have sorted by course. So the first thing I will do is find the beginning of the English courses, which is likely here. And I'm going to apply a manual filter. So I am looking for English courses that I want to include, and I'm going to exclude e-learning classes. So all of those classes will be included. And I would include all of the sections on this page in English. And I'm going to include many of these, so I'm going to just check off the ones I want. I don't want co-op or e-learning. We'll go to the next page and continue this process. And you can see that these are all e-learning. I also need to include in my English courses, courses that are ENDS or NBE courses. So I'm going to use the page list to find my way to the beginning of the NBEs. You notice I started on page 30, which starts with NAC. Sometimes it's faster to select the entire page and then uncheck the ones that you don't want to include. Now I've selected all the courses for the English department. I can use the options show selected to trim my course list down to 40. And now I can use the sort functions to sort by teacher and term and schedule. So then I would see a single teacher's entire timetable for the year. So in this case, I can see that Sharon will be teaching English in semester one in period one, three, and four, because I've sorted by teacher, then by semester.